Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an easy apple cake from your pancake mix. I came up with this recipe when one day this summer, I was a bit short on ingredients, and everybody liked it so much that it quickly turned into a family favorite. It's really easy to make, has a nice light crumb, and you could add any fresh or frozen fruit you have on hand. I made this cake so far with strawberries, raspberries, apples, and all were a hit. And the ingredients are super simple for this. We start with two eggs, and they have to be at room temperature. I usually leave them for a couple of hours on the counter, or if I'm in a hurry, I place them in warm water for an hour. We will be whipping these eggs in the electrical mixer, and if you have cold eggs, they just don't whip as well. Let's add the eggs to our mixer with 1 4th cup of sugar. We just need a little bit of sugar to stabilize the eggs, because remember the pancake mix is already sweet enough. So let's mix the eggs with the sugar together so the sugar doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And we will be whipping the eggs until ribbon stage. If you've never whipped whole eggs before, pay close attention. I am whipping them at full speed until they become pale whitish color. They will multiply in volume, and when the mixture starts folding down in ribbons, you know it's ready. Mine took about five minutes in the stand-up mixer, and it will take a little longer if you're using handheld mixer. Do you see how nicely mine folds down in ribbons? That's how I know it's fully done. Now we will carefully add the pancake mix in two batches. I'm using my favorite gluten-free mix from Trader Joe's, but you could use any flour-based mixes. I did try to make it with a paleo nut-based mix and it was a complete failure, so I don't recommend trying that. Use a sifter if you have one, it will help you avoid the lumps. Instead of mixing it, we want to carefully fold in the flour without deflating the eggs. The eggs will deflate a little, but they will rise back up in the oven. I don't see any more flour, so I can pour it into our pre-buttered dish. Now let's add some fruit. Um, I have small tart apples here, and I will add, just for color and a little bit of extra flavor, some frozen raspberries in the middle. You don't need to defrost fruit if you're using frozen. Now sprinkle one tablespoon of sugar for added crunch on top, and it goes into the oven at 350 for 27 minutes. We want um, the middle to be solid and the cake to get a nice golden color like this. Mine is ready and we can enjoy it now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my recipe and let me know what you think about it in the comments.